What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? It's Ringbean. Welcome to another episode of Viewer Submitted Finds. A lot of people really like this, so I figured we can do another one and see how it goes. Uh, these are the finds that come directly from you guys out there, whether it's yard sales, flea markets, whatever it may be, thrift stores. You post it on the Discord server that I started up under the finds and pickup section. I go through it. A lot of this stuff I haven't even seen, so it's going to be fun to go through it together. If you haven't joined already, I'll leave a link to it in the description, as well as a pinned comment. It's a great place to talk about buying and selling, not just video games, really anything, or if you you just really want to talk about retro gaming this is the place to do it plus you can reach out to me directly if you've had any questions so without further ado sit back and relax let's check out these finds <laughs> Alright guys, so here we are on the actual server itself, and this is my favorite section, that is the finds and pickups section, because anytime before I'm going to go yard selling or out of the flea market, I like to look at some of these finds, and because it's encouragement, I look at it and I'm like, if you get this for that price, I sure as hell can, so hopefully at least. Uh, so anyways, here we are with our first pickup that I'm going to show, this one comes from Dr. Scoob. Uh, everything but the manual in working condition, got it for 40 bucks, and I can already see, look at this, oh my goodness. A jungle green Fantastic N64 in the box. Got a standard gray controller. Uh, what game is that? It's kind of hard to see. Let me see if we can blow it up a little bit here. Forty dollars. What is that? NFL, it looks like NFL Blitz. That's that's a heck of a steal. Congratulations on that pickup. Next find here is from a J Sosa twenty two seventeen. He says he got both of these for thirty five bucks. Mario Party 2 and Pokemon Black 2. Very nice. That's a good find for sure for $35. That's, Mario Party's going to cover that alone. Uh, and then a few bucks on top of that. So to pick both of those up for $35, if you needed them, that's a good deal. So congrats on that one. Next pickup here is from a G's, I got GZ perhaps. I have no idea. Uh, it says, got these on Facebook Marketplace for $25. Bucks. Most are in really good condition. Was wondering if possibly could be re repo. I assume it means repro. Uh, one of the games with a torn label is Mega Man 2. Well, there's a good chunk of your change back right there. Um, oh, yeah, this is this is a great lot right here. You got both your Zeldas. Uh, see Simon's Quest, uh, Castlevania, uh, Dracula's Curse, and the original Mega Man, DuckTales. This is a great lot. Uh, then you're gonna, it's very uncommon to have repro uh, generic NES games. I mean, it's not, not generic, but I say common. You know, they're out there, I'm sure, but... You're not going to find them at a yard sale. You people got to order them. They're usually in crazy good condition. And it's just, they're, they're going to most likely repro higher end games, you know, games that are well beyond a hundred bucks, but I'm sure it does happen. So for $25 on that Facebook score, it's a great pickup. Next pickup here is from Patriot six. He says $90 for everything. 70 PS two games. All right. Well, that's already not bad at all. Uh, let's see if we can open up a bigger picture here and see if we can actually ID any of this. Uh, I see an NES. You got the PS2. Uh, what do you say? You paid 90 for this. It's hard to see in the picture exactly all the way. I see you got the, the, the sensor for the uh, Super Scope. Um, I see uh, Crash Tag Team. Team Titans, man. If you had that for the original Xbox, you'd have been all about it. Oh, I can zoom in. Holy smokes. The things you learn when you do something for the first time on here. All right, let's look through this. Uh, see if we see anything crazy. Rampage, Total Destruction. That's not a bad little pickup there. Uh, let's see. The Spider-Man games always do well. I'm sure a lot of this is probably going to go into his personal collection. I'm not sure if he's going to resell uh, much of it at all. Uh, a couple duplicates. Ninety dollars. I don't think is terrible. Um, I don't see. The craziest amount of high end in there, but you could definitely recoup your costs. You could do a lot up and get rid of all the filler and all the junk and make all that back, I'm sure. Uh, and then be able to keep some for your collection. So $90 is not terrible. You got an NES. You got a slim PS2. Not bad. This one's funny right here. This pickup is from... Uh, now, I, I look, watching the video last time, they posted another one. Carmen Ghia. I bet you that's what it's supposed to be, the, the how their, how their uh, name is. Uh, gotta love when you find a game in the console that wasn't listed in the ad. Look what game you found. Contra Force. 
oh, if that's the case, then, oh, man, talk about a come up. I've had that happen. That's why I always tell people to check the, the consoles when you're out hunting. You know, you can see a nest slot on the table and it's like $50. You're like, ah, it's terrible. It's all it's got is track meat. You look inside and you find something like that. You're like, yeah, it's not that bad of a pickup. Uh, so congrats on that. Carmen, I'm pretty sure that's Carmen Gear. So good pickup. Next pickup here is from 16-Bit Fingerprint, and this is a $20 Craigslist pickup, and he says Craigslist isn't dead. Look at this right here. <sighs> My goodness. Uh, Soul Calibur, you got Dynamite Cop, Time Stalkers, and Sonic Adventure. $20. Hell of a steal right there. Craigslist is not dead. It's just not being used as much as I wish it was. You know, this one comes from my main man, Alfredo, uh, and let's see what he got. He said $5. I don't know whether he paid $5 a piece or 5 for all. There's no telling with him. Uh, if you paid five dollars a piece, still not terrible for Final Fantasy and Kirby's Dream Land. I was at Motocross. I have no idea what that one goes for. Hopefully, he paid five dollars for all. But knowing Alfredo, he probably did. He gets some good deals. He makes some good money. Um, and he probably he might keep those for himself. I, Alfredo's a good dude. Uh, congrats on that pickup. I don't have Motocross Maniac. I got to see what that one's about. Uh, Kirby's Dream Land, phenomenal game. If you've never played it, uh, the first in the series, it's very good. So one thing I wanted to talk about is, in some of these finds and pickups, is there's a lot of trading going on because we do allow buy, sell, and trade. You can buy, you can sell, you can trade to your heart's content. And I have a feedback system, as you can see in the uh, below my, my head over here. Uh, you'll see people, they'll say gold, silver, bronze. Um, look at this trade right here. This came from, uh, it was a trade that he did with Go Retro Go, which is our, one of our first gold members. And that, that just means he's done 15 plus successful trades. He's very trustworthy. Look at this, man. This is this is crazy. Power Blade and the Breath of Fire. I don't I don't know if those are just the boxes or complete, but regardless, it's a hell of a trade. There's been some pretty heavy hitting trades going on in this server, and I like the fact that we have that feedback system because it's it's a very trustworthy thing. Uh, me and the mods were on top of the fact that we don't want any sort of craziness going on. We don't no, want nothing bad happening. People getting ripped off and. We've been, we've been pretty good about it, and we've had no instances yet uh, so far. And knock on wood, it's not going to happen because of the way we got the system working out. But that's just a cool cool trade right there. So congrats on that one, Zombie. I'm sure you needed those for your collection. Uh, go Retro Go. He's a, great, he's a great person to trade with. He always does uh, fantastic deals. This pick up here comes from Logan00, and he says that he found this at Value Village for $10. Everything is all in extremely good shape. And the uh, register now sheet doesn't have any writing. And as you can see, we got Mario Kart Double Dash complete, even with the bonus disc. You don't normally see the bonus disc that often uh, with the, when, when it comes with this edition. That's very good. $10, hell of a steal. Another pickup here from B13 Turbo. It says, my Monday pickup from the swap meet paid $20. Let's see here. Uh, we got GameCube games. That's always nice. You got two copies of Wii Sports. Well, hell, there's your money back right there and then I'm, you can add whatever oh, shit, three copies oh my goodness i didn't even see that one that third one below it uh so you're doing great um a lot of good stuff to add to your collection gun gun is a phenomenal game if you've never played gun i highly recommend it you got the xbox ps2 and gamecube uh was it on ps2 i'm, I'm sure it was uh resident evil 4 is always a classic uh definitely did good for 20 dollars of swap meat i think swap meat is you know it's, it's got to be a, a west coast thing you know over here on the east coast we always we just call them flea markets uh, but yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. So congrats on that one, uh, Mr. Turbo. Next pick up here is from a Mr. Caden DeWitt. He's a good guy. He's been a long time subscriber. Says he paid $3 each for this. We got Disney, Aladdin, and Godzilla, Monster War. I just saw the new Godzilla. I liked it. It was a great movie. Um, $3 each, that's not bad at all. I haven't, I don't know if I've ever played the, uh, Aladdin version, uh, on, or the, the Game Boy version of Aladdin. Um, it's probably very similar, probably closer to the Super Nintendo. I don't know. I'll try it one day. Nothing beats the Sega, of course, but $3, I don't think that's bad at all. So good pickup. Next pickup here is from a Mr. Jeremy. And this is, this is a, just another incredible find. Uh, what I thought was a watermelon from the pick turned out to be fire orange and Zelda was magically missing. So I made them knock $10 down to 50. And as you can see here, we have the, uh, oh yeah, we got the fantastic orange, golden eye uh what is that Ro robo shrine i can't remember the name of that uh star wars yoshi's island and pokemon stadium you got the gold controller too forty dollars that is a good deal i don't find fantastics that often i found a couple i don't see them uh you know at that often at all doesn't appear to have the expansion in there but you cannot beat that price so very good pickup 
Next pickup here is from Barry Fox. Fully market pickup, $42 spent. SNES has no AV cables and is untested plus dirty. Well, they're always going to be damn dirty. Uh, and he says, is that a decent, uh, is that decent at least? Well, I can already tell you it's a, a crazy deal. Uh, you have the Donkey Kong version of the Super Nintendo in the box. And you got Wii Party. Wii Party is not that common. It sells for quite a bit, so be on the lookout for it. Um, what, did, what did you say? You paid 40 bucks or something like that? That's a crazy deal. Did very good. <laughs> Next pickup here is from Burgundy. I kind of like his little icon. I think it's Ron Burgundy here he's got going on. Got a pretty sweet Craigslist deal, $60 for everything. Plan on flipping the system and games so I can keep a small stack of Dreamcast stuff. And you see that, people? That's how you do it. You go out, you buy lots, you keep what you need, and you sell the rest, get your money back, and uh, usually make money on top of that. Let's see what he paid $60 for for everything and see if he's going to make that money back uh, and keep what he wants. Let's open this up in the, uh, the bigger format. I can't believe I can zoom in on it. That's just absolutely crazy. Is my internet going to work, though? There we go. All right. Uh, let's zoom in here. <laughs> I can already tell you. You did fantastic. Uh, this, you got Donkey Kong 64. You got some filler N64 games other than that one. Uh, I like to consider these the fantastic controllers of the Dreamcast. Kind of did something similar with them. Uh, oh, yeah. You got some good Dreamcast games. Like Gundam. Ooh, oh, my goodness. Sonic Adventure. Um, play, PlayStation 1, a Sega Game Gear. Uh, with all the accessories and whatnot, probably going to need a recap. I know a person who can do that for you. Uh, let's see, um, what did he say? He said $60 for everything, something like that. That's a, that's a good deal. You would be able to, uh, if you don't need the Dreamcast itself, sell the, sell the systems and you'll come out on top and then sell any of the other games you don't want. You'll make some money on top of that and definitely be able to keep some stuff for yourself. So that was a, uh, very good pickup. Plus you got two VMUs and so for whatever reason a 360 connects so, uh the 360 connects they don't sell that for that much but they're great to bundle with a 360 you know couple them with some dance games which you got just dance 2016 uh so not bad next pickup here is from uh let's see uh indiana Re indiana retro gamer um and he says goodwill pickups this is why i always check the cases and look, I want to show you the first pick here. You got Soul Calibur for the GameCube, Fallout, New Vegas, and Civilization PC. Look what happens when he opens up this GameCube case. Oh my God! It's a Melee, and then the Collector's Edition for Zelda. Man, that's a great deal. Knowing Goodwill held max price, probably gonna be like five or six bucks, and he, hell, he could have probably got that for two ninety nine for that case. Uh, always check your cases. There's been many times I've had uh, filmed, you know, where you see me open up the case only to be surprised by something crazy. Uh, so congratulations. Next pickup here is from Lorenzo, and he says a little bit of a uh, little bit out of. I don't care what people post as a fine pickup. You can show, hell, I've had someone on there post all that goo gone. Um, you could post whatever you find if you're gonna flip it, keep it. Doesn't matter. These are fines and pickups. Those are just gaming. Uh, but he says he bought this for five euros. The camera, the Olympus OM SLR camera, and he's got some lenses. And this thing looks in very very good shape. I actually recently sold one of these. I cannot remember the price that I paid. Uh, I probably paid like three or four bucks, but I think I sold it for maybe, I don't know, somewhere between 20 and $40. Um, and I also got a lens. I don't know if it came with that camera or not, but I actually recently just sold that lens for 250 bucks. Cameras, you can make some money into them. They're, they're risky. I don't know a lot about them. I don't know a lot about the lenses. I just know if the, if the, that the price is good, I'll pick it up. And usually I'm surprised whenever I go to actually, uh, check comps and whatnot. So I'd say you did very well. Olympus always does great. All right, so our last pickup here I'm going to talk about is, again, through 16-bit fingerprint. He finds some good stuff, and uh, he says $100. And I like when people post what the hell they paid for something, because there's a lot of stuff on here i got to skip just because people post a picture of it. Sure, that's great and all, but how the hell do I know if it's a good pickup or not? I want to know what you paid for it. And uh, he says 100 bucks. and what he got here, we got Final Fantasy 2, let's see, Final Fantasy 3, 2 Super Mario Worlds, All-Stars, and Monopoly. Hey, you got your money back in games alone. Uh, and a few bucks to spare. And then you got a Super Nintendo. I don't see any yellowing, so it's probably in decent condition. Hell, who knows? You turn it upside down and it's a UN3. Uh, you might have a one chip on your hand. So $100, well spent. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for this episode. Hopefully you all have enjoyed it, and I hope to see a lot of new faces on the Discord server. Hell, at the time of this video, uh, since we're well over a 1,000 members, I'm going to start doing giveaways, so you definitely want to be in it on that. Or if you just want to show off the finds and pickups that you get. So again, I'll leave a link to it in the description, as well as a pinned comment. But as always, to everybody out there in this wonderful world, take care and enjoy the rest of your day.
Thank you.